My name is Emma Trott and I'm Women's Endurance Junior Academy Coach. I'm Helen Scott, also known as Scotty, and I am the Paralympic Foundation Coach. My name's Carly McCulloch and I am the Women's Podium Sprint Coach. My coach philosophy essentially is to create uh, informed, consistent, passionate athletes who are really enjoying what they do. One of the most important things is I try to treat the athletes as people first and athletes second. I'm true to myself, so like my values are respect, have fun, um, you know, be open, honest. Part of my philosophy is to coach the athletes, to coach themselves, so I'd like to try and upskill them and educate them about why we're doing things. We talk a lot about just doing the basics well, because if we nail the basics, they'll be great bike riders for, for years to come, and, and, and for me, great people as well, so it's not just it's not just the cycling, but it's the it's the other aspect of, you know, the experiences they get doing this and the growth you see moving forward as well. Number one, I love that I can still do something in the sport that I love. I suppose we set an environment that enables us to, to be open and honest with each other, but also encouraging little things like we have music planned, we'll go to Go8, we'll do random experiences wherever we end up in the world. I look back on my first coach, my first programme coach, and I still remember him and he, he has been, he's formed a lot of my philosophy for me as well. He's the reason why I loved it back then and the enthusiasm he had for coaching is part of the reason why I wanted to become a coach. I like to think that when their time working with me comes to an end that they feel like they're more capable people so I actively ask them and want them to come and ask me questions and to remember that as me as their coach I'm just the facilitator of their careers. I'm, I, I'm trying to help them to, to reach their potential. And I hope that I'm also upskilling them and giving them the skills to step into the, the big bad world at some stage and have the skills to be able to have a courageous conversation with somebody about something difficult or to show a vulnerability. Um, because I think in elite sports, sometimes we think vulnerability is a weakness, but I actually think it's a strength. You know, I hope one day that I can look back, you know, when they're standing on the top of the Paralympic podium, and think my first coach was Scotty and she really you know helped me along this journey and she made me love what we do and I want them to love it. I think I'd like to hope that when they leave our setup whether that be as a junior under 23 wherever they're well-rounded people and that they go and be successful in the world and some will go and be Olympic champions but some will go and be really successful in, in, in the big world and I think that for me is why that's my favourite part of the job because there's success however way you look at it. You know, success isn't just standing on the top step. Yeah, that's nice because that is my job. But actually it's riders coming out of their shells, being confident from one year to the next. That's also really cool. You know, a lot of hard work, a lot of tenacity and perhaps a little bit more to be a bit more brave as well, you know, a bit more confident. You know, it is a male dominated sport. For, for women in particular, just having a really clear plan and strategy has been something that I think for my team has just been so empowering. Everybody's on the same page and that power of women supporting each other is something that is really special and I really feel strongly that this women's sprint team has something that's going to produce something pretty special in Paris and beyond. Hard work, perseverance and uh, I suppose be true to who you are. Um, like I can't move away from that. If you're you, everything in life is so much easier. Um, and have fun because you don't realise it at the time. But when you quit the cycling as a job, you realise it's the best job in the world. And I suppose that's where being a coach now enables me to get the same feeling. And I class myself really lucky to be coaching for GBC too.